Hello everyone. Welcome to Visual. My name is Amit, and today we are going to start a new series of Java 8 features. As part of this series, we will see each and every feature of the Java 8 in depth. So today we are going to see the functional interfaces, which is the most important feature of the Java 8. And I can say that without understanding the functional interface, you cannot able to understand any feature of the Java 8. So let's begin with the functional interface without wasting the time. Now, uh, let's see the first the definition of the functional interface. So what is the functional interface? The interface which have only single abstract method. Let me repeat the interface which have only single abstract method. So let's see some examples. So if you see here, there's an interface called as a test which have method M1. So is it valid in functional interface or not? Yes, it is a valid functional interface because it contains only single abstract method. Let's take another example. We have interface test, which have two methods M1, M2, which is abstract. So this is valid functional interface or not? No, this is not a valid functional interface because it contains two abstract methods. Now let's see the third example. So here, if you see, we have the one interface called as a test and there another interface called the test two. So test interface is a parent and the test two interface is a child. So let's suppose that parent interface test, is it valid or not? Yes, it is a valid functional interface because it have only single abstract method. What about the test two? It also have a only single abstract method. So it is function interface or not? Yes. It is a function interface, but the problem is it is extended from the test class, test interface. That means the parent of the test two is a test interface which have method M1 and due to inheritance that M1 will get inherit here. So the conclusion is test two will have two abstract method M1 and M2. That's why it is invalid functional interface. Now, these all, this is all about the functional interface definition and structure. Now, the next thing is, is there any functional interface already present in the Java 8 or before Java 8? Yes, before Java 8, there are some functional interface are already there. So what are those? Let me show you. So there are some pre predefined functional interface before Java 8 called as a callable, runnable, event leader and comparator. So these are the some examples of functional interface before Java 8. Why this is called as a functional interface? Because these have only single abstract method. That's why this is called as a functional interface. So what about the Java 8? Yes, in the Java 8 also, it provides a set of functional interfaces. Let's see what are those. So these are the set of interfaces provided in the Java 8 and it have only single abstract method. So that's why it is called as a functional interface. So we, you can see here predicate function, consumer supplier, unary by operator, binary operator, by predicate, by function and by consumer. So these all are the functional interface. The question is what is the use of that functional interfaces? And what to do with that single abstract method? Yes, this is the most important thing in the Java 8, without these functional interfaces, you cannot understand any feature or you cannot utilize any other feature of the Java 8. And we can utilize that function interface with the help of Lambda expressions. This is another feature of Java 8. And we will see this Lambda expression and that function interface combination in the part two. So that's all about the functional interfaces. If you like, so please share and subscribe. Thank you. And we will see the next things of the Java 8 in the second part.